welcome to the channel. My name's Richard Dove. I'm from in East Yorkshire. I'm just going to do a bit of a YouTube thing. Uh, I think this is sort of my first video, but I have done other stuff in the past. If you want to look back and uh, and if you like it, subscribe at the bottom and uh, you'll get notifications of new footage. What we do here, we have a lot of pigs for a company. Uh, finishes, and we've got wieners outside, but that's not for long because we're packing them that. Finish about 100 beef cattle, uh, which my dad is in his department. He buys them at various markets, and it's like a year long process where you buy them as stars, go out to grass, come in, and then sort of feed them as cheap as possible till Christmas, and then get Christmas out way, and then we'll give them some real, real good high protein grub and uh, shove them on and fill them up, and usually go about March time. So it's about a year on process. Uh, little ones come in at March and they go out in March, April time. Don't you run new stuff on our arable enterprise? That's three, that was our big tractor, we call it the bitch, 320 horsepower. Uh, does Simba Solo in, uh, six meter power, uh, big, big subsoiler, a cousin's cultivator. I drill with that. So, yeah, now new, really, new tractor on farm. 61 plate, uh, Fergie 6480. All good stuff. All you know, good good models of tractors. And they've had a few breakdowns, but they don't cost that much if we're careful with them. So, but uh, but now if you like it, jump on board. Today I'm going to do a bit of footage about soil health. Um, did some filming yesterday about various fields, what we've done to them, and what the plan is to. Well try and improve our soils. I mean, I look, I look at all sorts of footage on YouTube about um, soil health, what worms do, and all sorts of different methods and one thing or another. And uh, we're sort of experimenting now. Uh, don't think it's the, I don't know what the answer is, to be honest, uh, but whether legislation in the future, we're coming out of Europe and we'll have to do certain things for points and one thing or another, whether we'll have to go into this low carbon farming so we aren't disrupting the soil too much, having green crops, cover crops, which I are a fan of, cover crops and green areas to catch carbon, um, not disturbing the soil too much when it comes to drilling, to not let the carbon out. Um, you know, I, I don't know, what, I, but, but I've, I've, I've put a bit of a video together of, um, of you know, methods we do. And uh, you might learn something, or, um, and, uh, and, and like pull me up, I mean, you tell me if I'm doing it wrong, or advise me, I might learn something, so. I mean, uh, so, look, I'll show you what we're doing, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Just showing you a field of, uh, well, it's just a stubble, an oats stubble. Spring oats last year. And the plan is to uh, just direct drill it. Um, and we've mucked it, we've put a lot of muck on. And we're a big believer in uh, um, working muck in, or we use it. And a guy said about putting it on top, just leave it on top over winter, and the worms will pull it in and improve the soil structure. And we did look at him and thought, is he right, you know? But we heavily mucked this, and it is disappearing. It is going. So it was right. It's sort of decomposing. And, uh, and the structure of the soil is very good as well. You know, but... So... And the plan is, we just bought a Moore's Unidrill. We're gonna, I don't know, leave it as late as we dare. Spray it off and straighten with that. And uh, probably latter, latter March. And see uh, if we can get this on top of this black grass situation. But yeah, the muck has gone, so it was right. And we did think it was top of the load rubbish. get the, sh the trusty bulldog and it's quite sturdy land again. Whoa. Hurry up, there's Wormy. Look at that. It 
it is working. Look at the bloody worm count there. And look at the soil structure. I mean, I'm, so I'm like bloody David Bellamy, don't I? But it's all about soil health is soil wealth. So, and worms farmer's best friend. There may be air. It's not always, it's not easy though. I mean, if it's a wet harvest and you're paddling about with combine, we, we tip on headlands anyway, so we don't paddle about with trailers now. For the, for compaction reasons, we try to instruct our lads to keep on a tram line if, you, if you're in field and turn around in corners, just one tracks, you know, don't paddling around. And uh, just to save compaction, but in a wet time, if you need to straw off, every wheeling is damaging the soil and occasionally you have to pull a leg through it but i think this low carbon farming where you aren't destructing the soil as much and uh, i'm not a fan of cover crops i don't know i think these co nitrogen fixing cover crops i don't think they do much in winter um, and they're very expensive but what's wrong with just a natural cover crop this is it, our stubble's always green up, green up so that's uh, sort of catching carbon for the for this environment issue and uh, and keeping the microorganisms and the worms and what have you all healthy because there's something to feed on as that soil as that soil sort of uh, tells that's another just have another been a lot of rain lately I mean a lot of rain and uh, down there the further down the field there's a lot of water stood on it so drainage wise it, it isn't the 100% answer because there is water stood so I think occasionally you do need a deep subsoil leg through it uh, just to sort of shatter that pan uh, whether the plough was at its day I don't know I think it's still got its place on certain certain uh, soil types but we don't plough much on ours now um, favour the Simba Solo I love the machine everyone says oh no they're not good leave it unlevel on that but in right wrong hands they do but if you have discs too much of an X pattern you can heap it up in the middle but uh, we, we, we like it it's a good machine very good machine uh, so, but anyway, right, I'll go a bit further. Well, oh Christ, it's slippy as hell. It's card, it's card for swimming. Now this was uh, the Simba Solo of this land. Powered, it was like a false seedbed to try and get everything to grow. And there was a horrendous amount of uh, volunteer black, uh, volunteer barley, because. I mean, as the, as the spring barley got ready, it just rained, didn't it, for about, well, it rained here for about three weeks. And by the time I got back to it, it was all laid flat to the floor and buckled up and um, brackling. It had brackled on us. So, it's all grown. It's nearly a crop. And uh, what the plan is, to come, come spray it as late as we dare, get rid of all the black grass and volunteers. Uh, try not to make any mark with the sprayer, so plan when it's, hopefully when it's dry and uh, and come in with that uni drill and just basically cut a slot, drop a seed in try and keep as light footprint as possible we've got a little, a little John Deere 6506, beautiful thing we've got some real big wheels for it, I mean Christ, there must be 1200 wide at back and about 800 on the front. You don't make a mark. Honest to God, you can walk on water with it. And we have had it stuck before. It was horrendous. It was, uh, we like cut two dikes. Um, the, the, it was that bogged. It was bloody hell. It's, but it was just you couldn't walk on the stuff. Uh, so there, yeah, put that on the little drill. Try and keep it as light as possible, not paddle. And like I say, just cut a slip, drop a seed in, and. Uh, don't mess with it too much. 
but the soil is in such good condition. I mean, it's, we've had some horrendous rain here. Some, some bloody hellish rain. And it isn't, uh, it isn't standing water. You don't feel real wet under your feet. So, and, and the drains, and the drains are running like half a pot fast, you know. So it's just soaking in and buggering on. Finding dike and off it goes. So, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's looking good. So I'll do the tight rope again. Occasionally this bed comes over. Officially, we don't think we're allowed to mess with it because it's an environment agency type. But if you listen to them, do an album, do you? I mean, there's that fellow, I think he's down south. I where he's actually, he's a dump. He's straight in the river out, so stop village flooding. And he's got a terrible trouble. Built an environmental agency, it's their responsibility. And they came one day with a big, big machine to do some work. And there were about five weeks, and honest to God, you, you, three of us could have done what they did in five weeks in two hours. No, I'm not kidding, in two hours. It was a shower of shite. In fact, I said to them one day, they had, they had a tea hut, they had a bloody great case digger, they had all sorts of stuff, little trap dumpers, and, and they came and just chopped a few twigs back and knack all and I said to him I says bloody hell I says kettle's got more hours on that digger and he didn't like it he didn't like it at all well it's not my fault our hands are tied you know the more than tied your feet are tied now yeah. gone off and won again aren't I?